So, step one, what is the background going to be? I think um, you have options here. Now, one of the options is this one. There is a background called sea kelp. So you could, if you wanted to do like a scene that looks really fish tanky, you could start with this. Um, the other thing you could do is use paintings. You could either use real paintings or use things from EHT, which has a whole series of paintings in it. Okay, then when you have it highlighted, hit Q. Oh, this is important now. Pitch is 180, yaw is 270, and roll is zero. The reason why I check that is because, for the effect, the reason why I check that is because when I put up fish or anything else, uh, I need to make sure that that matches. That's the only way it'll stop it from flickering. So let's add our fishies, for example. So add some angelfish. Now remember, you can change the color. They don't have to look like that. They don't have to be yellow. They could be any color you want them to be. All right, so there's one set of fishies. All right? Try to make them as flat against the wall as you can. Then the, the next set, we'll do clownfish. And this is the color of clownfishies, but I might change it just to be different. Then we'll add damselfish, which are probably my favorite because they're so sparkly. We'll make those pink. Now, for positioning, what I like to do is put things to the point where, and I've never told you this before, this is what I do with all effects. Go through the wall, go as soon as they, look at the pink fish. Wait till the pink fish, see how the pink fish disappeared? with a single click, it's because right there is where they're as close to the wall as they would get without going through the wall. So that's that's how I position things. I just go all the way until they go through the wall um, and then bring it one back. Here's coral, which, see this? Um, yes, these are effects. Now I would turn down the brightness and then just put you can put the put this guy's sucker right in. Now you'll notice he's vanishing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix that. This will all have to get fixed. Come on. You're he's angled wrong. So let's see if we can do this right. First off, we'll just select him. Yeah, see look, he's angled wrong. What we're gonna do is now that he's selected, I can do, I can mess with his hit Q and see it's, it should be pitch 180, yaw 270, and then, oh, he's upside down. <laughs> this should be about zero then. Now he's facing the right way. So uh, it's good to know your cardinal directions. <laughs> cardinal, get it? He's a little too long, isn't he? Let's make him. Let's make them shorter. And there we go. Or we'll just get rid of it. Um, and then we'll do the last two, two, two touches. One, we're going to look for Aetherius. We want the Aether Barrier, turbulent. Or Aether, the Aether, Bama, blah, blah, blah. Aether Barrier, the plain one. See, it, look, it does not look like water. So you'll push this in the same way with everything else. Oh, it's hard to see. So what you do is you mess with the transparency. You make it darker, lighter. You'll make the transparency so that it's almost done it not showing. Doesn't that look like water now? How it's going by so, you see how it's going by? It looks like real. So one of the other things I was saying, I was showing you is, so we'll pick the fish, right? So we're selecting the fish. You hit clone it's made another school of them. So I'll move them over and then I'll change their color. Make them yellow too. Or you can make them bigger. Uh, I'll make them orange. So you can see where they are as compared to the other ones. Do this. See how they disappear behind things? I, I love that effect. 
So you can do this and add as many fish as you like. Um, and this is how you do that, my friends. This is how you do a fish tank. All with effects. <laughs>